All right, we are off on our final adventure. We're heading out to Warm Springs to check out a museum or two. So tag along. Here we are on the Warm Springs Indian Reservation, about to head into the Warm, Warm Springs Indian Museum. Archaeological evidence indicates that indigenous peoples inhabited the Columbia Gorge by at least 10,000 years ago. At the narrowing of Columbia River and Horse Thief Lake, our ancestors lived at the center of the Columbia. Let me tell us how to hear what some of the teepees look like from some of the different tribes. This would be what the Warm Spring tribe used. These are what the Paiutes used for their teepees. They were a nomadic tribe, so they used less permanent housing. So this here is what the Native, Native Americans used as a duck decoy. That is pretty awesome. And this is what one of the Wasco tribes' houses would have looked like. Just a small wooden house. And they'd have a bunch of This would be a pretty big, this would be quite a big house actually. Ready to press the exchange of gifts between two families. Talking about marriage. Both Wasco and Warm Springs people have this tradition in their wedding trades. There's a cookie. A wedding trade sometimes takes place at dawn to greet the new morning. The bride wears a deer tail dress. It is made of an entire tanned deer hide with the tail left on for decoration. The dress is beaded and is hung with thimbles that ring when she walks. The dress is sewn with sinew. Her belt is leather with bone decoration. Her veil is hung with dentalium bells and beads. The groom wears a choker and breastplate, leggings and breech clout. His beaded vest, shoes and gloves are fine examples of beading. His Wasco side piece is red on one side and black on the other, with two different beaded designs. He carries an eagle fan. Many beautiful things are made, especially for the wedding trade. Heirlooms, treasured for many generations, are also given away on this occasion. Hey, so one thing that I had stopped recording in the India Museum and I wanted to add in that was really, really cool. The trades for the marriages were conducted by the tribal elder women. Men were allowed to go help to help transport and carry all the goods, but they were not allowed actually in the, the hut or the teepee or wherever they were actually doing the trade between the families. It was the elder women of the tribes that handled the trades between the bride's family and the groom's family, which I thought was really cool. Go women. So we're walking the path outside the museum. Gosh, it is just beautiful out here. It's really cool. Along the way, they show how to say the different words in each of the languages. And it's just a really neat little paved path they put out here. You can hear all the birds. You can kind of see the river a little bit. Hopefully we'll get to a spot where we can see the river better. It's kind of hard to see, but the water's crystal clear. You can see all the river rocks below it. Very cool, these rocks, these are all fossilized leaves, which is pretty neat. Very, very cool. So we're here in Madras, Oregon, at the Madras Municipal Airport in the Erickson Collection Museum. 
all the amazing planes in here, and she's more excited about the fire trucks. Yeah, the fire trucks. <laughs> they have a measurement. That's awesome. Not a lot of these around. This is a German fighter. Oh, and, and two ships. One of my favorite things is the aircraft art. I just love it. Wow, this dude who is busy, this plane. Oh, wow. Two Look. ships. Two ships. Two yep. Japan planes. Two Japanese like bombers. And steamroller. And drop down and whatever 40, that other thing is. 40 bombs. And. 15, 20, 25, 30, 38 bombs dropped. Welcome to Madras, Oregon. It has a population all of like under 7,000. It's like 6,200 people that live here. And this is also ground zero for the eclipse this summer. So this poor little town is going to be overrun. Over 100,000 people since we're here. 6,000 people live here and they're expecting over 100,000 people to show up. I feel so bad for the residents of this town. That's a good time to take a vacation that week. Well, folks, that's all she wrote. We've had eight amazing days here in Oregon hanging out with my dad. We've done a lot of really cool things. Today, we just had a nice easy day. Just had a couple of uh, local museums up and then... Um, Came home, we packed, checked into the airline, and we're ready to go tomorrow. Very excited. Our flight's already been delayed 40 minutes. Yay! So now we're not supposed to get home till after midnight. Boo! But uh, we'll check in tomorrow from the airlines. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And please be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, see you real soon.